From August to October, cases in La Crosse County increased dramatically. They went from just 15 cases on August 1st to 416 on September 1st to 2,469, 59 I should say, on October 1st. Also in the past two days, four additional deaths. So the county issued the advisory, limiting public gatherings to 25% of a building's occupancy consistent with the order from the state issued October 6th. News 19's Dave Soley participated in today's briefing. And Dave, uh, how will the county enforce this advisory? Well, Scott, the health department is asking for voluntary compliance. It's a step to help stop the spread of the coronavirus, but the county will follow up if voluntary compliance does not work. Step two is with a credible report, which often would be from law enforcement, we could then move forward from the health department and issue an individual order to a specific business that may be found not in compliance with the requirement that the advisory lays out. Step three then would be again with a credible report issuing a citation if it's necessary to a specific business that is not complying with the order that would have been issued in step two. Our first priority is to get voluntary compliance. Um, and, and all of this is for the reason of trying to protect our community from COVID-19. Now that citation up to $500 in court costs, depending on the violation, the state order defines a place is open to the public if it is accessible to the general public, such as stores, restaurants, bars, or even ticketed events. Now, Scott, there are exceptions, including schools, child care settings, higher education, churches, and political events, for example. You can see the state order on our website for additional details. Thanks, Dave. The county's decision to issue its own order to reinforce the state order comes following a judge's uh, ruling in Sawyer County to strike down that state order. And we ask about the effect that court proceeding will have on the local advisory. Our corporation council and other counties across the state, we're obviously monitoring what happens with the court case uh, in Sawyer County. But this advisory is directly related to our responsibility for our community our uh, reasonable and necessary approach to help encourage both businesses and uh, citizens to avoid crowds, uh, to keep social distancing, to wear masks, and really uh, paying attention to the 25% uh, capacity within businesses uh, going forward. A court date in Sawyer County is set for Monday. The judge's ruling requires attorneys for the Wisconsin Department of Health Services to appear in court to defend that public gathering order.